Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Wormer, and this is me, Topia. And wait, look. Hey, Tina. <laughs> that was very. That was a very quick uh, separation. I'm so glad you're okay. And this is my first ever playthrough of me, Topia. We're so we got separated, but like very quickly. We got back into the place we were supposed to be. I think everyone's in the right place, but we might see if we can put everyone around in different places again. Um, like, for example, like, Ike and Elena are doing pretty good. Like, Ike and Elena are pretty good with, with their levels to each other, like 7 plus. The only person who Ike is not fantastic with is Sonny? So I guess we can put him with Sonny for now. Tina and Tammy are fantastic together with their levels. Tim is not great with Star, so I guess we could put him with Star for a bit. Um, Elena is not good with Star either, but Elena is pretty good with everyone else. Elena's done pretty good with everyone else. Tina is not good with Star either, but Tina could also do to actually grow up with Elena. Actually, that's a, that's a good that's a good thing there. Tammy uh, is the only one you can really think is to, to hang out with Evil for a bit, but then Sarah also needs to level up. No, Sarah got to level six with Evil. Uh, is Sarah bad with anyone? No, Sarah is pretty good. Then we have Ike, who is pretty great with everyone apart from Sonny and Star. So after Tim is done with Star, we can level you guys up as well. Sonny's also needs to level up with Evil too. Okay, that's fair enough. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good combination. Ta-da! Which would you like? Down the hatch. A nice bit of nice bit of grub. A nice bit of handy grub. Okay, and then we can just put you back over here too. Uh you are gonna level up more with Sarah, but like honestly, like it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt to do that. We have some grub. The randomized grub I've been learning, like, is actually very good. For the most part. Like, yeah, you have people that won't like it, but, like, then you learn that they don't like it. Um, but see, that, that the only reason I, like, I think that I like feeding them sometimes is because certain situations like that. So you have karaoke. Sonny and Ike to karaoke would actually be very interesting. I've created a little rivalry between these two guys. Sonny, are you not listening to Ike? These little karaoke boots. <laughs> Sonny, you're good. When do you practice? <laughs> when I dance. When I sleep. I'm always singing. That's a bold claim. Well, it, you know, maybe maybe he does. Maybe maybe he loves doing all that stuff. Maybe he's a big fan of doing all that stuff. Shower friend with compliments. See, I knew he could beat it. Fried cobra as well. Uh, we also have some. We can go to the cafe. So who else needs to level up as well? Obviously, there's like everyone needs to level up. Um, like you, we can get you guys to level six. But honestly, Tim and Star is probably a better idea to get them to at least level two. The more levels everyone has with each other, like the more combinations we have of levels, uh, the stronger every single combination of, uh, like, fighter will be. Ah! Forgot my wallet. Iro. <laughs> Iro in the back. Guess what, me too. Dine and dash, dine and dash, run, dine and dash, run, run, run now, run. Never personally dined and dashed, but like, I don't see any other way out of this. Unless you guys do. Outings. Shopping. Uh, let's go shopping with these two as well. When I saw, when I had shopping pictured in my head, I actually thought they were going to go to like an actual shopping mall. This is so cool, this like crystallized ice cave. Like, it's actually one of the coolest environments in the game so far. Easily. That's a lot of people queuing. One the world for. I'll check. Where'd, I'm worried Tim won't come back. <laughs> He's angry. So? They were giving out these. Okay. That's nice. 
I, I don't know if they actually thought the HP bananas would be like a worthwhile prize for people now. Like, I don't know. Maybe they actually did. I just think they're like, in, for me personally, in, in fights, they're kind of like they waste a turn. Like when you have sprinkles and like a healer, they waste a whole turn for, for a party member. Um, We can spend some gold, but I'm wondering what will be good. So 4,100, that looks awesome. Uh, 3,300, we'll give this to Sani first. Oh, Sani, you actually came back with something. That you can use. It actually looks pretty good with his outfit too. There we go. Here we go. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Okay, so now we want to start leveling up people again. So here's what we're gonna do. Since everyone's level 18, we're just gonna go from uh, this type of thing. So we're gonna go healer, um, healer, heavy hitter, and like I support. I suppose like. Tammy, because then she's like a kind of like a backup class for all of our different things. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I'm trying to get everyone to level 19 now. And now we're heading forward here. Is this the location we actually have to go to? I mean, what are we looking at here? Oh my god, that actually looks like ridiculously like cool, like a ridiculously cool enemy. Are you Sophia? Don't worry, we'll save you. Cool design on Sophia too. Cool design. Guys, right now I'm so excited though, I'll tell you this right now. Ice Queen so- oh, it's so cool. That's such a cool design. I'll tell you this right now, right now I'm really excited because Scarlet Nexus is releasing tonight at midnight and like I have not been like it, it's it's the weirdest thing I've had for a game. It's 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 similar to Metopia. It's similar to have my love for Metopia and my excitement for Metopia. Um because I play I, I was not interested in Scarlet Nexus whatsoever. Then I finished uh, Five Fantasy Seven Remake Integrate, and I was like, "Look, I have some time between now and like whatever other game I want to play." And you see what I mean? I should have pressed sprinkles really quickly. And I was like, "I'll just play a demo." And then I, I played Sc Sc Scarlet Nexus demo, and I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun. Then I played it again and again, and I was like, pre-order. That's, it, like, Metopia was like that. I was like, I have no interest in Metopia. I don't want to play, why would I want to play Metopia? Like, it doesn't even seem like a game that I, I'd want to play. And then, like, I played the demo, and I was like, oh, pre-order. <laughs> pre-order right now. I love those types of games that, like, and that's why demos are so important, and that's why Metopia, like, was such, had such a good idea to do a demo. And that's why Sonny just kicked this beautiful creature in the face. Sprinkles again. See, Sonny can use his healing, but like I kind of like the idea of using the sprinkles before like anything else. If you get what I'm saying, because then like, man, Tammy's the coolest character in the game. <laughs> Tammy's so cool. <laughs> And like, I didn't make her cool, you know what I mean? Like, I did make her stats be cool, but like, in all seriousness, Tammy like, like, kind of like, went on a life of her own, or created a life of her own, and became cooler herself. Like, I, I, I couldn't have made someone this cool. The game kind of did that for us, horseplay. Yeah, let's get, let's get this move. This move is devastating. This move is devastating. Oh, I will say this right now, guys. Um, I've had some people asking for permission to do fan art of the characters that we created in this game. 640 damage? Guys, you never have to ask permission for that. You never have to ask permission to create these characters in the game, to want to uh, do anything you want with the character. You never have to ask permission for that. It's it's 100% okay. It's always okay. With the art, as long as you find a way to show me as well. That, that'd, be, that'd be awesome. Oh, oh the kid. Oh, my God. Tammy has that effect. Tammy has that effect on people, apparently. Oh, wow. Well, that 640 damage is crazy. Like, that's gonna be amazing. Wait, with the red lipstick, I wonder how this is gonna look on the character. Just because, like, it, like the, I feel like with Metopia, they do kind of, like, more lipstick character, like, designs for older characters, I suppose. Not that lipstick is for older people. But you know what I mean? It's like, it seems that's the way they've done the designs. 1,100 experience. For who? Uh, Sonny's closer. You know what I mean? Sonny's closer, so it makes sense doing that. Icy Mints. Not a big fan of Mints. Not a big fan of Mints. Won't be my idea of a nice thing. Hmm. 
Wham! <laughs> yeah, it looks right. It looks okay. That's a story for the grandkids. You saved me. Thank you so much. How can I ever hope to repay you? Well, we could talk about that jewel. Th that's all you want? Yeah. And then by all means, take it. So we got our first jewel. That actually didn't take that long. The monster was after this jewel in the first place. Just be careful out there, okay? That didn't take long at all. You finished the president's quest. The Darker Lords in the Skyscraper, right? And this is one of the jewels that opens the entrance. Alright, let's see if we can find the rest. Then we look, what are you what are you doing? <laughs> this is your fault. Everyone this is all your fault to watch this. He heard you guys calling him cute once, and now he won't stop. <laughs> now he's trying everything. He looked up how to look cute. How to be cute. This is all your guys' fault. And teach that darker lord a lesson. Not to mention rescue the great sage. Hold on, Penelope. We won't be long now. Wait, wasn't her name... Wasn't her name... It was Yachi first, and then Yuffie. Wow, this is a weird <laughs> character here. I love the name Yachi, though. Such a cool name. Awesome, level 6 with these guys too. Lend a hand. Which means we could probably put someone else with... Uh, no, everyone's everyone's still leveling up together. Everyone's still doing their best to level up with each other. Hmm. You can tell a horse's age by its teeth. Wow, who knew? wonder how old Agro is. She's getting ready to pry open Agro's mouth. That's a high level with the horse. That's a, that's a high level with the horse. And we also have Evil and Tammy. Which is a bit strange. I didn't sleep much last night. Oh no, what happened? It turns out that you talk quite loudly in your sleep. Oh no, sorry about that. You kept saying me too. Are you joking? Like... You know, when I was younger, I shared a room with my brother for years. And, like, one of the things you learn to do when you're sharing a room with a sibling is that, you like, their quirks become also almost like white noise. You know what I mean? Like, whatever, like, noises they make in their sleep become, like, a natural thing to the point that, like, when you're no longer sleeping in the same room, it's like, you're kind of like, oh, there's no snoring. You know what I mean? There's no tossing and turning. This feels weird. You know what I mean? I know, I know that sounds weird to even say, but that's how it feels, like, sometimes. It does feel very strange. Oh no, we, we've got to we've got to swap out Ike. That's okay. We're gonna have to get him to level twenty at some point anyway. So we're going back, we're going back to Traveler Sub anyway. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so we have the we have, we might as well get every single jewel uh, at one point as well. Uh, we're gonna be doing the jewel quests whatever if we can first. So so this is a jewel quest. Jessica, how are you doing by the way? Oh my, this is intolerable. I finally get to go on a holiday now. There's this dark lord running about. I still have nightmares about the old Dark Lord. Oh, hello, you. You've not seen any jewels in the shape of eyes or noses knocking about, have you? Now that you mention it, not long ago, I did get a hold of a weird jewel. Does that sound like what you're after? Uh, could be, yeah. Oh, but I sort of threw it away, sorry. What, where? Some ruins in the desert. Are you going to take a look? Yeah, sure, 100%, let's go. Okay, now you know where it is. If you find it, you can keep it. Jessica has been like, I don't know, like, I love that there's a callback to characters we've seen before. Hello, Iroh. Hey, would you like some tea? No, I'm okay, Iroh. Thank you very much. Just come back for some tea. And now we're going back to next door. Oh, there's like a whole new cave as well. Oh, there's also a rare snurp. Rare snurp, we're coming. Rare snurp. <laughs> we're coming, rare snurp. Look at this guy over here. Oh my god. We, he might run away. That's the thing. Like, these creatures sometimes just, like, run away right away. Uh, which is, which is like, how, like, again, I like it. Because, and if you don't know, I'm a, I'm a massive Dragon Quest fan. Metal Slimes. That's the thing. I also, like, with stuff like Dragon Quest, I always want to find out, like, if there's more games that you guys do want me to play. Um, 
Because I'd love to play, like, say, Dragon Quest Twelve that's going to be coming out in a few years. I'd love to play, like, maybe Final Fantasy Sixteen as well. I think it'd be really fun um, doing that type of stuff on the channel. The only games that I probably wouldn't play on the channel, maybe, is probably, like, Persona? Just because those games are, like, sitting alone type of games, you know what I mean? Those games are, like, I sit here and I play those games by myself. Oh, okay, so there's two points of, like, uh, that we can go through here. That first quest was easy as hell. It was, like, a half an hour. Which is strange because usually, like, the quests to get these jewels and, like, these routes that you go on are actually very... Like, oh, Hieroglyph. I love the Hieroglyph enemies. Especially getting Hieroglyph Toast is really fun, too. It's okay having Ike on the team because, like, having him level up anyway is, a, is not a bad idea. Okay, I love how... Again, I love how proud Soul looks. You look at the effects in the background, and again, it's one of the benefits of doing a turn-based RPG. Is that you can make these amazing backgrounds without having characters having to climb them or explore them. I think that's one of the things that always trips up like much bigger games and much larger open worlds. Is that like, you know, you let people interact with an entire world. Eventually they're going to find like little mistakes here or there. But the fact that like we can go through this world, see this beautiful background, this gorgeous background. And not have to pick apart every single thing about it that we think is kind of like weird or, or, or like out of place. It makes the game like really fun and enjoyable. Like, I've never been one of those people that, like, needs a game to, like, let me interact with absolutely everything. You know what I mean? Uh, there's something in my pocket. Did Sarah pack another banana for people? A HP banana! There's another one. Who, who's packing bananas now? Again, dear Sonny, hey, I bought too many HP bananas and they were getting heavy, so I put one in your pocket. Wait. Is Star just, like, the mother of the group? <laughs> Did Star become the mother of the group? Like, I recently saw a game that I actually like the game that you can, like, lift up the uh, toilet seat with, like, a gun in the game, right? And it's like, like, I don't need that. You know what I mean? I Like, it's cool, but I don't need it. Like, I'd, I'd much rather, like, people work on, like, a fantastic art style and a, and a pretty art style that, like, I can look at for a while then actually, like, have these, like, intricate little details that are gonna make the game, like, come out a year later than it, it, it probably was gonna come out, you know what I mean? But then again, people can work on any games they want. I'm not sitting here going, like, yeah, make make the games I like, because people love all types of games. One of my least favorite things, actually, is, uh, when in, like, when you, you love a game and a fan base loves a game, and other people are like, this game should change for me. It's like, no, just... I mean, you could play a different game. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt you. Obviously, that's it, it's a different conversation. I'm not talking about like accessibility options because I feel like games should be more accessible for every type of person. But I think I'm just talking about like when it comes to like style and art and like you know mechanics. I guess we're doing pretty good though. Well done, guys. You're leveling up uh, pretty well. And I, oh, it got very dark. There is a day-night cycle in this game, technically. Uh, it's just that we don't always see it outside as well. We got an in too. Yeah, we'll take Ike off the team now and put someone else on. I think we'll put Star on the team, maybe. Great. They do give you like a lot of leeway in this game to like level up people. Like, like if you if you work hard enough to level up every single character in this game to the certain aspect, like to certain like level that you wanted to be at, you'll get there. And I like that. Now nah, I'm okay, guys. We'll keep playing. Sonny was like, "No, you won't. Give me a, give me a rest. I need a rest right away." Uh, I don't think we can afford anything. That's such a cool weapon, though. The tiger thing. This we're close to affording. This is really cool. That is also weird with the muscles, and we have this as well. We can afford a lot of stuff when we actually get to that point. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll be able to get there at some point. Okay, so let's take Ike off the team. For now. And I think if we're going to swap him for another heavy hitter... Uh, the heavy hitters of the team I consider to be Sarah, Tina, and Evil, and maybe Ike. You know what I mean? So I think what we might do is get Sarah up to another level. Yeah, that makes sense. Three of the original team, all together. 
So we have two locations we can go to here. Let's go in. It's like a cross formation as well. So let's head to here first. Uh, so there's also three ways we can go. Let's go in the middle first to see where this goes. Huh? Oh, he's tired. You okay? You okay, Soul? Ugh. Soul is dizzy from the heat. Do you want to have a drink of water? Oh, it's a mirage, is it? It's another mirage. Oh, it's a cactus. This can be good or bad. Soul sat on needles. Okay, Soul did sit on needles. And another way to go. Okay, I guess we'll go up. This is fairly strange. I don't think we've had this pattern. Or maybe we have, I just haven't. I don't remember. No! I was rid of you! I was rid of you! Guys, get them. Sonny, get them. Sonny, beat them up. Sonny, crush them like walnuts. Sonny, grab them and freaking crush them. Sonny, grab them with your arm and throw them into the air and do a tiger suplex on these guys. Yes. Good, good, good. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Tammy's turn. What are you going to do? Okay, yeah. As long as we attack this, the, run, the runny nose. Oh, wow. Well, the runny nose is gone. It's an abomination. I will take 50 turkeys before this. And again, no, like, noses can be cute. Noses can be really cute. In fact, in most cases, they are. But if I see, again, if I see legs growing out of a nose, it's a completely different story. It's different. How you doing, aggro? Oh. Sonny getting a good slap in there. I love how they pose afterwards. That's great. And Sonny's close to level 19 too. Which means we can swap... I think we're going to swap Sonny out for Tim. I think that's what the next swap out's going to be. Huh? Oh, that is weird. Yeah, that's a weird mirage. That's also very cool how, like, they only have particular, like, stuff depending on, like, which world you're in at the time. Like, the mirages, I think, are very exclusive to this world, which is cool. It makes every world feel that bit more special. Like, there actually is, like, consequences for wandering around the heat in this place. In some way, at least. You know what? We're just gonna have to deal with these. Let's find something cute about these noses. Uh, their eye? No. 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 Take this. It might actually be fun, like, since, like, we're at a pretty high level with Soul, it might actually be fun to try a different class with Soul. Because since we're at a stage where he is, like, just, like, at a high level that's not budging, really. Like, where his, his level hasn't, it, it budges every once in a while, but not that much. So it might be fun to maybe try out, like, some other, um... Maybe try out some other... Maybe we'll try out the flower with Soul. Because <laughs> people have been requesting the flower for a while. Like, I don't see it hurting since our stats are still pretty good. Like, you know what I mean? Our stats are still pretty great. The only thing is, I'd like to maybe obtain all the weapons that we can for Soul before we just try different things. Uh, so he's... Very ready for the next boss battle. There we go, Sonny. Nice. Long roots, though. Very long roots. Obviously, we're not going to be taking every single route in this game. That's I, I, I used to do that, but I, I, I don't do it anymore because I feel like sometimes it's not totally worth it. Uh, we can spend some gold again. Oh, Tim's the only one that wants to buy some... Tim, that's beautiful. Tim, please come back with that. That is awesome. Tim seems like the type of person that would get super into Halloween. No, we have to have orange, right? You can't, you can't not have orange. That looks amazing, Tim. Well done, Tim. And you know what, Tim? You've earned it. 
You've earned it. Okay, let's feed everyone individually now because I kind of want everyone to get some stats. So we've Icy Mince, which will build up your magic and your speed. Uh, do you want to try this? You didn't mind it. Build up your speed. We have Mushroom Saute, which builds up your HP and your MP. You're pretty full now. Uh, HP and MP. Is anyone Does anyone not like this? Well, I guess we haven't really tried on everybody, so we could try it with you with your HP and your MP. Yeah, you like it? That's good. Um, Fried Cobra, which also brings up your HP and your attack. You love it too. Yeah, we'll give you more attack. Uh, we have the Fragrant Tea, which I, lo I like. With this, I think it might be a good idea to just like, yeah, this did... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, with that food, though, I think we might just do randomized. Uh, because it's like a, a bunch of food that we like. It can be beneficial. It can... Like, see, magic up, magic up. But it's also like a random bunch of food that we've seen a bunch of times before as well. And with that, let's set off with ourselves. Um, we're going to take Sonny out and put in Tim. Uh, because we're trying to get everyone to level 19 now. I was so kind of like stressed out about the idea of like, how are we going to be able to do this? You know what I mean? How are we going to be able to like level everyone up? But it's actually been very stress-free. It's been one of the most stress-free aspects of the game. Oh, look at Tim's new outfit. It's look, it looks awesome. Tim's probably the best dressed. I think we can all say that with 100% certainty. Tim and, T Tim and Tammy and Tina have been the best dressed. And Soul as well with his little outfit. Ah, uh, we'll go down. We'll go down. You know what? Aggro. Bite the nose. Man, Tim's outfit's so cool. I love Halloween. Uh, the, the problem is, like, you know, we don't have as many kids on our on on the street like where we we live on. So there's not many like chances. And last year, Halloween was pretty much cancelled because of COVID. Uh, a lot of stuff was cancelled. You know, there's not much you could do. Um, I love my friends to death. I love them to pieces. But one of the funniest things was like. Like, my birthday was pretty much, like... No, it was, you, don't, you don't get to... We didn't really get to have a birthday, because, like, we were during, like, a very big mandate to, like, lock down and have no one at your houses, even, like, family members. And I remember just being, like, you know... People texting me being, like, Oh, I'm so sorry that, like, you know, we can't be over for your, your birthday and stuff. And I was just like, Oh, no, I gotta, like... I gotta, like, play video games all day. I gotta, like, play video games and, like, watch anime. This is so bad. <laughs> you know? Like, you know, because, like, again, I love love family, love friends. But, like, you know, there's something really cool about the idea of, like, okay, today we're just playing games. Today it's just video games and anime. That's what it is. And drawing and stuff like that. And it was like, okay, it's cool. This is kind of cool. This is kind of neat. I think you realize once you once you get older and older that, like, birthdays are not as much for you. As they are for the people around you to spend time with you. You know what I mean? And to like, cherish each other. Wait, does Snort become a fire? Oh, is that Snort 2? Yeah, okay. I, was I thought Snort became like a fire Snort in the desert. Level 19. We can swap then. I think we're going to swap Tammy with... um Star. Swap Tammy with Star for the next, uh, next route we're going on. Yeah, I don't think we have... Yeah, we, we don't need to do the other routes in this level as well. We're leveling up pretty well. You know what I mean? And if we need to, we can go back to those routes as well. Oh, wow. Again, we could probably speed this up too. <laughs> if anyone, yeah, ever played Dark Souls 2. Oh, who's sick? No! Oh, evil. Oh, evil being sick is very sad. You got his shots as well, which is, is strange. Poor evil. It's okay, evil. You you can sit this one out too. You can sit this one out too. Tim and Star. 
Warning. Exactly what we want from these guys, too. It's exactly what we want. Uh, oh, you want to see Elena? I would like to see Agro, my bestest friend in the whole world. Eat up, eat up. It's super delicious. And with that, we can actually put you back over in the room over here too. Okay, so we have some gold we can spend. So there's this katana, this outfit. Oh, we will we actually, will it work this time? Will it work this time? Yes, and it's stone gear? So like it's made of stone. Uh, hold on a second, so we can put it in, yeah, that looks awesome. That looks really cool. We'll buy your stuff next time as well, guys. We will buy your stuff next time. Let us get Tammy off the team. Tammy! You did good. You did great, Tammy. It's time for Star to go. And everyone's pretty good with each other, too. Everyone's pretty leveled with each other, also. Yeah, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Wait, right away? Oh, is this to find the jewel? Oh, of course. Maybe it's treasure. Yeah, okay. Because the jewel could be either here or up in the other space, too. Okay. Oh, it's okay, soul. I guess it's not here. It's okay. It's okay. We'll find it. We'll find it. Um, We have to go to this route, then, to go up here. I have a feeling it's not going to be here, either, though. I have a feeling that's, like, the, 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 going to be the running joke. Is that, like, you need a cup up? Man, I'd love a cuppa right. I might get a cuppa later. I love a good cuppa. Been trying to cut down on the cuppas because I feel like I have too many cuppas. Too many cups of tea, by the way. Wow, who would have thought that you? So maybe it's not snore too. Maybe it actually just become fire. No, maybe it's just. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Some good damage. Some really good damage. And a Mega Lightning too. Now, you use Super Flambe, which destroys every enemy, Tim. You okay? So. Great. Leveling up with Sarah too. Okay, let's uh, unstable form of these guys because again, like it's, it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but it's, it's. I feel like it just preps everyone for the, the rest. It preps everyone for the rest of the group. You know what I mean? It preps the, the battle for the rest of the group because then, because then like uh, whoever goes up next can just go yeah one simple attack and get rid of them. There's this feeling of pride that I get when I'm playing this game. Like, it's serious pride. Eh. What's in my pocket? HP Banana, who is it? Like, it can't be Star. Star's with us. Dear Sarah, I hope you're eating enough fruit and veg. Make sure you have a balanced diet. From, from Sonny. <laughs> Who's Sonny? Yeah, Sonny is pretty thoughtful. That's pretty nice. Everyone's pretty thoughtful nowadays, though, like, constantly giving each other HP bananas. Another root up. Uh, we'll go up again. We'll go up again. There's, it's, it's not going to change much. The light seeping through the top as well has always been so cool, too. Yeah. Man, that outfit's so cool. Influence from he he got influence when he's staying with Star. So you're saying that like like gods, like they hang out like like 
you know, in black clothes and stuff. That's Sonny. That's Sonny's voice. Say, say, like, uh, like I could be like a, a, a goth. Oh, he's not even better yet. Sonny, you couldn't even make him better. That's upsetting. Wow, that was your final chance. I never really saw her like. Not that there's anything wrong with being uh, being a goth at all. But I never really saw her as being more, like, more of a goth, to be honest. I saw her kind of, like, um, just wearing, like, unbelievably, like, chill, you know, aggro girl. Every school had one, and they were always very cool. I went to an all-boys school, but, I like, you know, it's, it's, I guess my school didn't have one. Uh, spend some gold. Does anyone want to buy anything that's cheap enough? 4,100. That looks really cool. 2,000. Oh, we can buy this. But we won't be wearing it because your outfit's way too cool. The witch gown. Okay, that might have changed my mind. Maybe the... <sighs> yeah, but this outfit's just... It's so cool. It just reminds me of, like, Yuki from, uh, from 13 Sentinels. A lot. Okay. Uh, we'll set off again. Now, guys, if I am missing important routes, if you think, like, Calvin, you are missing important routes, it's, it, like, the routes you're taking are actually, like, like, there's, there's important story moments on here. But again, I don't think there's, it's a necessary thing to take every single route in the game. I really don't. Um, so yeah, this is definitely not gonna be either, right? Who knows? Let's, let's see, let's see. There's something buried here? Yeah, it's not this either. And I think the sweet spot we're looking for is 21 with everybody. So I think what we could do is if we aren't leveled up, we'll come back to these roots again. And we'll uh, try and level everyone up as well. We're not going to do this with every single route, by the way. Um, because like some of the routes, like I, I'm like, oh, I, I definitely want to finish this. I definitely want to try and finish this. Mega fire? Oh, that's actually pretty good, but like, like again, even like this type of move. It's not doing a crazy amount to like, bl like block everyone. Or to hit everyone, I should say. It's not, it's not doing crazy amount of damage anymore. So we probably should improve Sarah's magic even more, maybe? Flambe, the most devastating move. Look at this, it destroyed him in one hit. No one even hit that one before. Crazy, we're gonna do a glitch. Do some 77 damage. Oh god, the, bou the bouquet's coming for you. The bouquet's coming for you. Or is it? I love that. Agro's just like, bam. Everyone's doing magic. Agro goes, bam. Kick right in the face. Nothing wrong with a, nothing wrong with a healthy meal. Nothing wrong at all with a healthy meal. Uh, skills of magic, glitch, unstable formula. Uh, might as well use a glitch, because there's only one enemy left. Yeah. Oh, the way that the thing smiles as well and flops around in his head, it's like it's his friend. Wait, what if it's his imaginary friend and tells him to do bad things? <laughs> I hope not. That would be devastating. Uh, mounted attack two, I suppose? Because I feel like the higher growths are actually like pretty easy to get out of here. That was a lot of damage. That was a, a boatload of damage. Another good bit of damage. Oh my god, this team is so good. Everyone's so good. Like even Tammy was like on point as well, just like destroying enemies too. When before I was like, oh maybe Tammy doesn't do that great of a job uh, with her moves because she's not a player character. Level 23. I was saying it wasn't budging, but here we are. We're on level 
At least there's like there's no nose like enemies anymore. You know what I mean? We're we're, we're without the nose. Oh my g what are you doing? Like what, what what was that bullying of like soul? What for? Like what did soul ever do? Except for like I maybe kill your friends. That might have been it. I know you have skills and magic glip glitch glip glitch glip glitch glip glitch. glitch. A four-person pitch and let's do it. I wish we could see them all. I should have done regular attack, but this is gonna this is gonna do overkill. Yeah, way overkill. Well done, guys. As well, who's gonna level up now? I think. So yeah, we have a bunch of characters who have leveled up now to level 19. Tim is very close. Tim is very close, and Sarah's not too far off either. This is this. These areas are actually leveling us up quite a bit. Yay! How's it going, buddy? Hope you're feeling well now. Hope you're feeling much better. Oh, you want to talk to Tim? Tim's always up for a chat. Ta-da! Which would you like? Hey, one of those was for me. We're rationing out food here, Agro, okay? You can't just take everything, all right? You can't just take every bit of food. Uh, so we have... We, we're not going to spend gold. I think we're going to just set off again. Um, okay, let's see here. So we have you at level 19 now. So I think we're going to replace Star then with someone else who's 18. Um... Uh, evil. You get into the game because you still have a heavy, heavy hitter on the team. You know we still have the person that does a heavy amount of damage to a bunch of characters at once. And here we go. Before we do that though, like I'm actually itching to do this other route because it's actually not that big of a route. It's actually just one other route. I know I said I wasn't gonna do every single route, which I'm not. But like, I know this route just seems like it's it's good. And actually, like we're doing a lot of levels here. Like we're getting a lot of levels in this area because their enemies are actually like pretty strong. I suppose comparatively to what we've been fighting before. And we got a penguin tree too. Nice. And right here is the enemy? No, we won't. We're going far without fighting anything. That's really strange. Because usually, like, enemies are all over these places. There must be an enemy right here in the middle. Yeah, yeah, right there. Skills and magic unstable formula. Always, always, always start with the unstable formula. Wimmy, wham, wham, wazzle. What? What the? What? what yeah, okay, have some food, but still, what's with the freaking attacking Tim? What do you ever do? What do you ever do to you guys? Oh no. Oh. Uh, don't start a quarrel your first moment back after being sick. Yeah, we'll 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 tip away at these guys with the unstable formula too. Oh, he's showing off as well. Tim, when he shows off, like, he looks like he's, like, in a, a whole different zone. Great. And there's Tim's level up, and, and Sarah is so close. Sarah is so close. Uh, we're gonna replace Tim, then, with, um... 
I'm trying to think who would be a good replacement for Tim on the team. Because we don't always need a healer. We don't always need it, especially in these stages when we're just kind of like leveling up our characters. It's not always something that's like necessarily always needed. Um, Elena, I suppose? Level 7 with these guys. Very good, guys. Uh, you want to talk to Evil? Hagrid's very demanding. Time for your brushing, buddy. Oh, he can He can barely reach up to him. <laughs> there. On. Oh, I grow. That went very well. That went very well. I'll put you back here for a moment. Okay, we're gonna grow up in the next one, I think. But for now, uh, so for taking Tim off the team. I think we put Elena back on. I think we put Elena back on the team for this. It might be a boss battle coming up. In fact, I kind of feel it in my bones that there's going to be a boss battle coming up. I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. It kind of, you, you can feel it too, right? Everyone else can feel it. Is it just me? Yeah, we can see if there's something here. Maybe it's treasure. We got it. Okay, the other jewel. The mouth jewel. Without a boss? That's very strange. Usually we'd have a boss, like, right away. You finish Jessica's quest. That's two jewels for the skyscraper we found now. Two down, two to go. So we're halfway there. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. I mean, we're already halfway there. That's the way to look at it. Yes. Because, like, this is this, this has been some of the shortest quests that we... Oh, no. Who's sick? Sonny again? Sonny, you okay? Sonny is a sick boy. <laughs> Okay. I actually like kind of like that this is just like a a constant sleepover with everyone. This is just a gigantic sleepover. Time for your brushing, buddy. Let's see if you can do a better job than Evil. Evil did a fantastic job. Yeah, you did a fantastic job too. My, I have three cats, right? Uh, one of the cats, when I rub them, they, like, start rustling around and, like, running around me looking for more rubs, right? One of the cats, like, will, like, stay asleep and, like, be, like, or, like, try to stay asleep, like, keep their eyes closed and be, like, sm almost smiling when they're getting rubbed. Um, so that kind of, like, is kind of what Agro's doing. The other cat? The other cat? Um, not even joking. The other cat will literally just, like, as soon as you rub them, they'll start crying and like but still they have the happy look on the face to be like meow meow oh they're beautiful i don't know why i want to talk about my cats but i'll take any any opportunity i can i will take any opportunity i can peter so this is the next jewel quest i'm guessing if you go here yeah this is the next jewel quest hello huh. oh dear do you have a minute <laughs> so my little perfect little guy toby did a bad thing he turned up one day with a spooky looking jewel. I yelled at him and told him, go throw it away. But I guess I scared him and he ran away from home. Now I'm worried. Won't you help me search for my Toby? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Thanks. Shall we get going? So he's gonna come with us as well. So he's gonna have a, um. You know what, buddy? If you're happy, don't, don't let anyone else tell you look weird. If you're happy with what you're doing, who gives a damn? You're not hurting nobody. Oh, this is a gold snub result. Oh, we're going over here. So it's... There we're going. Okay, but first of all... Gold. Gold snurps. Three? That would be 1,500 if we can actually do this really quickly. Incoming. Wow, that was actually a really good defense, especially with the bricks as well. Oh, they just don't do a lot of damage. They just don't do a lot of damage anymore. These were like very early game enemies. So the fact that they don't do a lot of damage anymore kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? It kind of makes perfect sense. Nice bit of damage too. 
We do have a cat on the team, which is fantastic for this, because, like, if we have Tina as well, like, this whole thing is going to go very smoothly. I love that outfit. The Power Rangers-type cat outfit. Okay, then we can head up here. And just head right over here. So this is an area I didn't think we'd be able to go to until much eerie road. I love the look of eerie road. This is so spooky. On oh, the music, they did so much music for this game when they didn't even need to. In some cases, you know what I mean. Like they like, I wouldn't have questioned them having like similar music between both areas. They look so weird, the ghost mallets. But they're really cool. I'm a big fan of like, I, like I've said it before, but I'm a big fan of like Haunted Mansion vibes. Big fan. Ever since I played Resident Evil as a kid, even though that ma mansion is not haunted. I mean, you know what actually? Oh my God, it made her cry. What's, what is the matter of, with you? Okay, these guys are now officially worse than the noses. Someone, oh, the damsel, yeah. My, oh my. <laughs> they they recover in the safe spot very quickly. I've never had a problem with that at all, with them recovering in the safe spot at all. Regal Dance actually works well for us, like, with certain enemies like, like this, because then they're not, especially when they do kind of, like, heavier damage. Yeah, that was good pincer uh, damage, to be honest. But, like, it would have been probably a better idea for us to get the other two first, but then you can't control what these guys kind of fight here. Good damage, too. Um, I'm going to keep going with Unstable Formula. Again, it's just chipping away. Oh, they, they're not, they're not going to fight us still. They're not going to fight us at all still. And there's a level up for Sarah, which we I think we... we I don't know who we're going to replace with Sarah. Maybe Tina, actually. Might be a good idea. Actually, Tina would be a perfect replacement in terms of a heavy hitter. Uh, we can have two roots here. Let's go up. Man, I really like this world. The, 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 the looming, like, mansion in the background is so cool. Oh, please tell me I can get all these guys with the unstable formula. Not all of them, of course. The Malak guy, of course. But now we can just fo focus on this as well then. Oh, this is going to be so much fun if they pop. Please pop. Yes. Wait, and he still cried even though he was protected? Oh, evil. It's okay. You go over there to the safe spot. How dare you make evil cry? There we go, evil. We, we avenged you. But now he's going to be still crying because he didn't... Yeah, he's still sad. But I suppose it wasn't too bad for him. I suppose it wasn't too bad. And there's another route up. We'll go up again because then we can go uh, down and up and down, if you know what I mean, next time. Oh, some game tickets. We haven't gotten game tickets in a long while. It's been quite some time. Whoa, what's happening here? <laughs> Whose song is that? One of my own. Pretty cool, right? I think I heard it before somewhere. What? No way, it's a special on the road jam. Oh, it sounds like that noise moves. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> she wasn't she was questioning it too she was like yeah why are we friends <laughs> evil 
And we got letter two for our trouble. Yeah, these guys are obsessed with Belle. Which makes sense that they are. Wait. Oh no, I thought we did, we had more outing tickets just waiting and we didn't use them. I forgot we used them right at the start. Great, level four between these two. And actually we can get everyone leveled up to like level six and then we can just like pair people off like at random. So you want to talk to Tammy. Everyone's brushing aggro. Everyone wants to brush aggro. Makes sense. There. All done. Oh, there's like... We, that's a new one, actually, though. Like, the rub against uh, Tammy. But I guess the sleep is probably better because it does level them up a little bit faster because it's like, oh, you, you got aggro to sleep. You got the aggro so relaxed. Okay, let's look at the outings here. So, Seaside Botanical Gardens, um... Yeah, you two first. Actually, you two can use the next two of them, actually. Yeah, sure I love the flowers, huh? I've never seen that flower before. I have, actually. There was a bunch of riot of blooms. Uh, where? I forget. Huh? I wanted to see it too. So this would be kind of considered not doing too well with a botanical garden visit. When like, uh, I think this is actually one of the ones where it's like, oh, you did okay. But again, it's all random. I don't think you can like um, decide which one is going to do good and which one's going to do bad. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Are we in our outing as well? We can go to the seaside with these two. Splash with the water. Oh no. I wouldn't get leather wet though, that's the thing. I mean it's up to you, but I like that I would not get leather wet. Oh no. <laughs> These two are like personality clashes though, right? For sure. Oh they're tight. The tide's gonna take you away. But at least it done very well. It did very well, guys. I love the way the world uh, the world looks. I really do. Uh, and then for another outing, we'll go to the ranch with these two up here. Man, like Star's new outfit's awesome. Tim and Star like have really cool outfits. Hey, look, sheep. Oh, cute. You know they're they're fur. Yeah. Uh, you can, like, make it into clothes and blankets and... useful. <laughs> a, a, a friendship of utility. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're heading towards the final dungeon in this game. It's, it's coming towards this that area. Um, we'll eat some grub, I think. Actually, you know what, what we'll do is... I know, like, you know, we, we, we kind of mix... With, wait, first of all, attack and speed. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be so powerful. Uh, we have this to build up your HP, but actually I want to see if there's anything we can do to build up your um, magic. We have this. And then also we have... We have these as well, which build up your HP. Who has a low HP still? I think we can build up your HP a bit. And then after that, I have no problem like kind of just like doling all this food out a bit. I love the way like look at the mixture here, but like everyone's kind of like doing good though. Everyone's everyone has their food eating. Uh, eat, eat, eat it random again. The three taps on the stomach together. And guys, that's gonna do for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the series, and I will see you all very very soon after we buy actually an item here. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh my lord. You know what? We can resist for now. We can resist for a bit. I know it's tarred. It's a cool outfit. Look how you can see the mansion in the background as well. It's so cool. Heart dagger. Yeah, I'm sorry. This dagger is really cool. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>